Crete is a very special place. It's blessed by God for its location, its climate, its soil. Everyone is family even though you might not even know them. So you feel comfortable and home from the first moment. Welcome to Crete, where people are more than anything proud of their diet. Local plant-based foods, breads, cheeses, fruits, and of course, olive oil are believed to contribute to the longevity of the island's inhabitants and is revered like religion. Crete, it's a very self-sufficient island. We grow our own grains, we shred them, we have uh, the harvest of the olives, the oil being the liquid gold of Crete. To get a taste of the culture, I've come to a Greco farm to sign up for GrecoTel's Be a Farmer for a Day experience. And they're letting me go behind the scenes to show you what you're in for. Most of the people that work here come from Crete, and mostly of the town of Rethymno. And it's really funny because wherever you go, you just know everyone. I start off with the bread, mashing the flour and yeast together with my hands until the mixture starts to condense into a gooey salad. Following orders, I pull clumps out of the bowl, drop them onto a white sheet covered in flour, and cut notches into the bread. This makes it easier to rip a clean piece off when passing it around the dinner table. Finally, it's my chance to act like I know what I'm doing with one of those long-handled wooden pizza spatulas as I scoop three loaves at a time and slide them into the brick oven. I've got 20 minutes to kill before the bread will be ready, which is plenty of time to head out to the vegetable garden, pluck a couple of tomatoes off the vine, give them a quick rinse, and slice away. The fine folks at Agreco Farm have already laid out a table for me to work on with a small bowl of sea salt straight from the Mediterranean. The detour allows enough time for the bread to rise and I get to experience what makes Creighton cuisine utterly fantastic, the simplicity. I do not exaggerate when I say that few things have ever been as delicious, as thrilling to my humble palate as a piece of fresh bread dipped in Greek olive oil. But I'm not here to snack all afternoon. I'm on the clock and my hands are needed again to relieve this little gal of her milk. It's been a while since I've grabbed an animal by the teeth. That's why there's an experienced hand by my side at all times, physically showing me how to massage the milk down with the palm of my hand. We then bring the goat's milk to a boil, raising the fat, and not even 20 minutes later, I'm scooping out deliciously soft cheese to fill the turopitas. Bite-sized cheese pies with buttered phyllo and a bit of earthy thyme honey drizzled on top. And I've done it all in less time than it takes me to pick something out on Netflix. But I'm not quite done yet. I've got a slice of tomatoes, eggplants, and zucchinis for stuffing with a mix of diced onions, carrots, parsley, and rice. Last up, tacos. Greek bruschetta. So simple that even my novice hands can't screw it up. And friends, let me just tell you that feta cheese and olive oil simply taste better here. In the end, a feast is laid out before me. Taking my first bites, I'm reminded of what Katharina told me when I first arrived. You can taste if something is made with love. If it's not made with love, it won't taste any good, even if you follow the recipe. I didn't need to ask the farmhands at Agreco if they love what they do. I could taste it. I could tell that they're right where they belong in the world, doing what they do, specifically on the island of Crete. Sometimes when you want to describe paradise and you use a lot of words, you lose the sense of it. This is the place where Zeus, the god of gods and the god of hospitality, was born and raised. That's why the people of Crete, they have this hospitality sense within their soul. Everyone I know lives here and cannot even imagine of going somewhere else because I would say Crete offers you everything you might need. Yamas. Yamas.